Hey guys, Dark with Cyclone FPV, and um, actually it's uh, almost one in the morning. Got a pretty full house in there of kids playing around with some uh, cousins of theirs and stuff, and so you may hear some little noises from uh, now and then. Um, so anyways, while they're killing each other in Fortnite and Rainbow, I'm going to go over this quad right here. Somebody sent it in to me, so let me show you what I'm working with. Uh, all right, so here it is. Uh, uh, prefer if you, if you said, okay, so this is about a quad that is... Let me see. I asked to have the whole quad sent in to me. Uh, I'm trying to understand exactly what was going on. I'll probably have to look at my notes here, so hang tight a second, because I also had notes on this. So let's see, but it, uh, it does look like we have a small problem with this. I just wanna make sure that uh, I understand what's going on. So hang tight a second. And let's see what we got. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna to try to access the records of why this was sent in. Sorry, because one of the papers starts late, so I can't see all of it. Um, decent frame though, I do like the frame. Looks pretty solid. Uh, but I'm gonna be critical about this too, so please understand that when you do this, so I'm not mentioning names, right? But, but just understand that it's not a matter of, I'm not being disrespectful when I say this, okay? I'm, I'm very picky about what I do here. Um, and I want to try to get some of these lessons on to people, especially if they send stuff in to me for help. So let me turn on my soldering iron here because I know I have something tells me I'm going to need that in just a minute. All right, so let me check out the, uh, what is this? I got to find the RMA number here. Oh, you know what? It's on the package, so hold on. RMA number is, okay, I think I've got it here. So let me punch this in. And let's see what we've got, right? Yep, and there it is. Okay, so the first message in this uh, string is 11 pieces to it. Uh, okay, so it says, I get no startup tones, which makes me worry. Somehow killed the ESCs as well. As you will note, the VTX still received power work well. FC does not connect to beta flight via USB. Despite using the boot button, will not connect to DFU mode. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so looking at this right off the bat, here's what I'm going to tell you. Okay, so I'm going to critique this. Now, it doesn't mean that this is what's wrong, but I am going to tell you what I find wrong with this build, okay? And we're gonna look at it, right? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this thing apart. And again, guys, look, if, if you, you, can't get, you can't get upset with me over this. If you do, then I'm not the guy to fix your stuff, okay? Because my job here is to not only help you, um, but to also teach you how to maybe do this better, right? And I'm also learning on how to do things better um, because everybody, it, it, you always have to be ready to learn, right? That's just the way it works, okay? So um, if, if I've done I've done a lot more builds than most people, I've done a lot more designing and carbon fiber cutting and molding than most people. Uh, and in that regard, especially when you bring it all together, I would say that I'm pretty knowledgeable, but I, I would definitely say that doesn't mean I can't learn more, okay? So the first thing I wanna do, this is the first thing, all I've done is taken off four screws, okay? And here's what I wanna show you. Now, I had no idea, uh, only as I was talking that I noticed this. Just, just look here. Now, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna try to get the other camera angle because that may help. So let me see if I can zoom in there as well. Okay, so I'm gonna do, oh God, I don't know if this is gonna work. It may screw up, but let's see. Here's a split screen, okay? So you've got one angle coming from the front, which is over here. And then you've got the next angle coming from the top, okay? So, the, so this one where you see my hand is top, and this one where you see my hand, the back of my hand now is the front, okay? just so we can understand where we're at, all right? So let me show you right off the bat what I see. The first thing I see, okay, is this really, really, really bad soldering job, okay? And when I say that, just watch, okay? This is what I noticed first, look. I mean, this is not acceptable. You're on a five volt pad, and this pad can, lit this glob of solder right here can literally move everywhere. Okay, so if you want to see that from this perspective, uh, I don't know if that's right. No, let me minimize that one back down. Let's go this one. Okay, now look, here it is again. Okay, so look at this glob of solder. This is the five volt pad. See that? There's this big ball, but it's literally, oh, there we go. We finally got it out. Okay, and what ends up happening is <laughs> if you can see this, the five volt pad is off. Like literally, it has been burned off by this soldering, okay? And we're gonna look at this more because the most important thing, I mean, look at this thing. It's, it's, 
This is not, and there's the pad underneath. There's this this little piece right here. I don't know if you can see that, that's the pad, all right? And I get more people telling, you know what, let me try to put a background on this. No. Let's see if that helps, okay? You see that there? That is the pad that's attached to that solder. I mean, this is really bad. So right off the bat, now let's zoom out, okay? Let's just zoom out because I'm not here to hammer anybody on this, but I am, I am trying to teach you something, okay? And part of it is that you've got to understand that if you're going to solder, then your quality has to be, you have to demand more out of your own quality, uh, work, craftsmanship, I mean, that is. So looking at this, um, I can tell right off the bat, and I'm going to, I'm going to leave you with this angle here. So let me do that and that. No, nope, I don't want this. I want picture in picture. Okay, so let me leave you with that. And I'm going to use this. I'm going to light this up a little bit. I'm going to, hopefully you guys can see what I'm working on. I'm going to try to zoom in and keep this on camera as much as I can. So let's put that right about there. And I'll try not to screw with it too much, okay? But I'm going to get down on this thing. I need to clean this lens. Hold on. And I'm going to try to make sense of what I'm looking at with the understanding that, again, this is not, this is only for your benefit here. I swear it sounds like that this is going to hurt me more than it hurts you think, but that's not what's intended. Okay. But what does, what does concern me on something like this is, now this customer is pretty cool actually because he just wants help and I'm all about helping him. All right, and I respect that. Let me clean my table real quick first. Okay, because this is nasty down here. <laughs> Those kids are having fun. All right, let's put this back right here, okay? And this customer's cool. He did not come out, you know, I didn't get the feeling like he was blaming HGLRC, for example, because that would definitely be incorrect in this case, okay? But, but you know, he's cool about asking for help, and I'm definitely willing to give somebody help if they're asking for it. That's for darn sure. All right, now I need to just get a towel and clean this darn thing. Sorry, I didn't realize that this lens was so bad, this magnifying lens. So let me just get that clean. And now I can see. Okay, so let's get to it. Oh my God, I can see a night and day difference here. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. First thing we wanna do is, let's look, let's look at this real quick, okay? Let's, I don't think I can put this under the microscope, but we can try, maybe that'll work. Let's see if I can put this under the microscope real quick, okay? So let me see if I can change your, let me see if I can change your view. And we're gonna put this under the microscope and I'll zoom out for right now because I know this is like super zoomed in. So let me just zoom out here real quick. And let's see if we can do this this way. Let me turn on the camera. Bear with me one second. Because I think it's important to look at this. Let's put the computer on. See if we can zoom. All right. Now, this is going to be a very, very much a zoomed-in image, okay? But you'll, you'll get the point in a second. All right. So here we are. Here is the flight controller. And we're just going to start on one end. All right. And we're going we're gonna to go like this. So we should be almost to the edge of the board right there. Okay. So let's look. Right off the bat, first thing that bothers me is all this black crap that is here, okay? This is really concerning to me. Um, it's not a color for, not that I know of, for um, uh, flux. So I will not say that this is fair to, to say that this is flux. It looks like it's a burn material. I don't know what. I don't know if it's the silicone from the wire or not, but it, whatever it is, it's not supposed to be there. Now we're gonna pull this off, okay? because none of this is soldered properly. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do our best to get this off. All right, I'm just gonna get some of my own solder because I cannot get this stuff to melt. So I don't even know what was being used here, but let me just put some of my solder on here. Let's see if I can get this to heat it up quicker and then we can pull it off. Okay, this is definitely a problem. All right, and we're gonna do the same here. All right, so let's look at these now. So here, we've also, it looks like we've kind of melted uh, through the pad a little bit, uh, but I'm gonna try to clean this off as best I can. And here's the five volt that has completely uh, ripped off, and then here is the S bus, okay? So I think the solder here, it's safe to say the solder is bad, but let's just keep moving down. So here's our buzzer. Here's our buzzer. What's up, dude? Oh, it's okay. Come here. What's up, bud? Sorry, guys. My, my son's right here. What's up, dude? Sorry. You guys having fun? Yes, yeah, sir. I just wanted to say hi. No, come here. Come say hi. Give me a hug. I love you. Love you. You doing all right? Yes, sir. You want to say hi to everybody? Look right up there. Hello. Say hi. 
You guys, what are you playing, Rainbow or Fortnite? Um, Fortnite. Y'all being nice to Grace? Okay, you'll be nice to her, okay? Yes, sir. And uh, if she needs anything, you ask her if she needs anything, and Jacob, if they need anything. Yes, sir. And by the way, can you teach Jacob to put the popcorn in his mouth and not on the ground? It's <laughs> all over picking, the floor. I've been, I, I've been that way, too. My popcorn just fell everywhere, but I just picked all of it up. We need to talk to the dogs. You need to get the dogs in there. <laughs> All right, you guys have fun. I'm just going to do this real quick, okay? Yes, sir. Sorry, I love you. I you ne don't ever worry about it. You can interrupt anytime you want, bud. <laughs> love you. Love Thanks, guys. Okay, so getting back to this now, let's look at what we're doing, okay? So now we're going to get down to the LEDs, I guess, here. And look, I mean, again, this solder is massive. I don't even know what's going on here, but this is definitely not okay. All right, so, and it's not like, I don't know what kind of solder this is, but this is really nasty solder. So I'm going to try to heat this up, and again, I'm going to try to clean the board. But to do that, I'm going to need to use some of my solder to hopefully get through this thing. There we go. And I'm just going to scoop it off just like that. Okay? Hey, hey, what's up, dude? Are Come on out. Video? Come on out. I'm making a video, but it's not live. Come on out. Oh, sorry. Why are you apologizing? What is it with you guys? I know you're doing a video. That's okay. Come here. You do this late at night? How? Hey, come on, Grace. You want to come say hi to everybody? Good. Guys, y'all remember my son? This is Landon, the one that we built a drone together, right? Stop. Okay, don't do that. Stop. Okay, don't do that. And then come here, come here, Grace. Guys, this is Grace. She's my short. I don't know how would you say. I'm um, not short. Well, you short. I know because you're taller than me. I know. No, shut up. Shut up. Say hi, Grace. Hi. Mm, she's she's learning how to play Fortnite, but she's getting butt kicked by everybody. Shut up! Don't say that. <laughs> hey, y'all have fun. I'm, I'm legit. I already got him. Okay, so getting back to business. Landon, will you close that door for me, please? Thanks, bud. All right. Thanks, guys. Sorry. So getting back to business here, okay? So we've now got the solder clean on the uh, LED and the uh, TX pads, okay? Uh, we have lost the 5-volt pad, but now let's scoot down. Now look. Look at this hodgepodge mess, okay? Again, we've got this black burned look here. Now I'm going to scoot this around because I really need to kind of get it like this here. But look at this, guys. I mean, and, and I'm, again, guys, to, to, to my customer, this is not, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm, I, I get that you tried. If I could show you some of my early soldering, they were terrible. Um, and, and this is right up there with the ones that I did that were really bad. Okay? But that's it. We call it like it is, and we try to fix it. So this is a ton of crap on here. And it's not, it's not sitting properly. I mean, look, we've got all this black crap everywhere. The board's not clean at all. All right, and you can't even complain about a board failing when we cannot get the board to look proper to begin with. So I'm going to now try to clean this up. And I think the best way to do this, to be honest with you, is I'm just going to remove the board from the stack and I'm gonna leave it on. I, I fear what I'm gonna see when I look at the, uh, the ESC, but hey, you know what, for right now, this is how we're gonna do it. So here, stack's gone, there's the board, okay? And I'm going to now zoom out, or, or I mean, sorry, I'm going to now um, focus here. And we're going to turn this, and we're going to look at this hodgepodge of nastiness, okay? So we need to clean that, right? So that's what we're going to do first. So let me go ahead and get some of my solder. And we're just going to hammer this board with solder. Look at this RSSI. It's like a, like a, like a pimple right here. Um, I'm, I'm even curious how this thing is holding on here. So... Yeah, that's what I thought. It just kind of bing right off. Look at that. There's no, there's nothing on here. Look, oh my goodness. All these are kind of, oh yeah. So they're just, and I swear, I think we just lost the camera pad. There we go. So this is what we have a problem with. Is one, we have a bad soldering job, which is causing the board some serious issues. Um, so let's see if we can, let's see what we can clean up. I mean, this looks, this is actually gone. This entire pad has gone down. Uh, I don't even think I can get to it, but I'm just going to try to see if I can wish it around a little bit and then try to clean it up. Um, the pad looks completely gone for the most part, but hey, let's just assume that it's still there. For the time being, let's assume it's still there. And let's, let's see what the heck we're working with. Okay. Oh, there we go. We can see words now. Okay, so this, this pad is toast. Look at that. Boy, we could just... It's like archaeologists here. We're finding fossils and stuff down here. Okay. What we are going to discover by doing this is we're going to discover just how much bad soldering or how much... this It just got hot. I mean, 
I'll be honest with you, it looks like the whole thing just overheated. And the customer is putting on way too much heat to try to get this solder. And I, I don't blame him because after trying to figure out this solder, this is, this is screwed up here. This is still attached and this is just going to rip more. See, look at that. See, that is your uh, RX-6 right here, okay? And, and as it, I mean, this is just not going to happen. So I'm just going to cut that, try to cut my losses there. Okay, now so far, okay. So let's just move beyond that now and let's look at the rest of this. Okay, so the RSSI that we know didn't go out too well. Um, and then we're going to get down to here. And this is going to be our uh, VTX pads right here. And again, we have this black stuff all around it, which, which we want to kind of, at some point, we want to figure out what the hell's going on with this stuff. And then, I mean, we've got to get it off of the other material. Um, and it looks like this VTX pad, I can't tell if it's damaged or not, but my, actually, I, I think I can tell, and I think it is damaged. So uh, I'm going to get the microscope, I mean, the, the, the other pieces here. Yeah, so the VTX is also gone. Um, I mean, this whole thing is screwed up. And now we're going to just zoom in and get really close to the stuff here. So hang tight because I want to really see what we're working with now. So let me focus so you can see the pad, right? Look at the VTX pad. I mean, it's toast, right? It's just gone. Um, this is still intact, but I'm not for sure how long it's going to stay. But let's just, let's just see. So uh, let's see if I can kind of clean that here. And that is right here. Okay. So, all right. Well, that's better. Uh, and this one, I need to raise this up a little bit. Sorry, guys. Okay. Because I'm hitting the, I'm hitting the protective screen area of that, and I don't want to ruin my microscope. All right. Look at that. Okay, so this should not be, right? I mean, this is just all kinds of, uh, all right. Okay, so we've got this root now. Let's look at the other side. Okay, so that's that. That flight controller is all kinds of screwed up. Chances are it wouldn't connect because of the fact that it's got all kinds of, it could most likely be shorted from the bad soldering. But now I'm gonna plug it in and I'm gonna to try to flip over here and see what we get uh, and, and see how damaged it is, right? So, so far, yes, it does look still damaged. I got a solid light. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get any anywhere from here, but I'm gonna to check to see what's overheating. Okay, and, ow, shoot. And it is overheating and it's, it's heating up really badly. Uh, it's gonna be one, it's gonna be right here, right? So uh, what it looks like is we've got overheating here and I'm actually gonna try to replace this. Uh, this is the uh, regulator here. So I'm gonna try to replace this, but I'm not gonna really waste my time on this board. Uh, the board is shot, unfortunately though. Um, uh, uh, let, me, let me just make this clear. Unfortunately, I am not gonna, and this is for a warranty purpose, I am not going to make this a warranty repair. Um, I believe that this is an end user issue and uh and and but but that doesn't mean i'm heartless uh uh it is at my discretion and my recommendation is simply that the customer gets a 50 percent discount on a replacement board okay and hlrc think is going to honor that just fine um but understand guys that they don't have to right i mean look looking at looking uh looking at this i mean i i i cannot no, you can't argue that this is not customer this is not because of the customer okay and to my customer it, suck it up because i did the same damn thing i went through probably 200 boards as i taught myself to solder and i mean it was an expensive journey i took but i became very good at it uh but it cost me a lot to get there you're headed that way your soldering is better than mine was uh and i don't know now if this is your fifth year in it you need to quit but if this is you starting out, I can respect that. It's better than I did, okay? Now, that being said, let's go to the ESC. So here's the ESC, and this is just, just by looking at it, it's all kinds of whoppy job, okay? So let's go to the XT60 part first, and let's focus. Look, look, this is not acceptable at all. I mean, look at the cables, look at everything here. 
let me show you what the problem is. Look, look right here, right? Now, I'm going to show you what I, here's, here's what I want you to see. Watch this. Okay, look at this table now, right? There it is. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in, right? I'm going to zoom in there, okay? And if you take a look, now I know these cameras, when you get too close, they don't look that great. Fine. But I want you to see, I want you to take a look from, from above here and try to remember what you're seeing. And then we're going to put it under the microscope. Ready? So here it goes. Check this out. Boom. Let's look at the positive first. And the positive wire, that is not positive comments. Positive wire. It's terrible. I don't know what's going on, but there is enough solder on here and goop on here. Um, but what has been forgotten about is all this. Look at these, okay? Now, this one wire, all it has to do is just gently jump on over to here and you just fried your board, okay? So let's look at that. I mean, this is, this is what we're talking about. Look, that's it. All it has to do is touch, okay? And it's long enough to touch. Now, you have that wire. And let's look a little more. And you've got another wire here that didn't make it in. Okay. And then let's look around. You've got all these scraggly little wires over here. Okay. Now all these have to do is touch your carbon fiber. Okay. Forget touching the ground. They just need to touch your carbon fiber. And then look here. This is what, it, this is bothers me too. Let's take this. This is your XT, uh, sorry, this is your cap. And I'm just going to take the cap and I'm going to go, look, do you see that right there? Do you see that whole chunk of solder just kind of wiggling? Watch. So boom, you hit a wreck. Boom, this thing moves. I'm going to swing it back three times. Two, three, okay? Now, I know I'm shaking the whole damn camera and I apologize, but just get my point here. This entire chunk of solder right here is this, right? Is just waiting to snap off. And there it goes. Okay, so there's one piece, and I can already tell this one, this side may give, but it's embedded in there pretty good, but this side's not. It is now loose, and it can touch any part of this drone and, and, and fry it and blow the cap and everything else, okay? So that's got to come out. Now, as far as the ESC goes, let's look at your ESC soldering, okay? And again, don't get mad at me. I'm sorry, I've got to find the spot here. Let's start here. Okay, what in heck is going on over here? We have soldering on the top, soldering on the bottom. We've got all this weird looking stuff. But most of all, what we've got is this long, long uh, fingers from the motors, right? This is not acceptable at all. This isn't safe. It's not acceptable. Um, yeah, this is definitely a bad idea. All right, you have got to take the time. You've got to take the time to cut these down and, and stop like it's just it's just a hodgepodge here. So I'm going to try now this. It's already proven to me that this solder is crazy high heat solder. Like, I mean, like it it takes a lot to get this off. So I'm going to try to use my solder to get with it and take it off. OK, and I don't know if that's going to work or not, but we're going to try it. OK. Now, let me show you how this should have looked. First, I want to clean this off a little bit, okay? Still doesn't look great up here, but that's not the point. Right now, we want to look at the wire. So here's your wire. I'm going to try to get this on the microscope. And I'm sorry, guys, if this microscope video sucks. I, I just want to get really close. Okay, so look at what we're working with. This wire, okay, just to be technical about it, let's look. Outside of the fact that there's strands flying off of it, let's look at the length of this wire, okay? The length of this wire, each notch here is a millimeter, okay? So the length of this wire is roughly, I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up properly, but it's roughly about six millimeters in length. Let me see if I can show you that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. If you count those lines, that's about right, okay? That is about four millimeters, three, five millimeters, four to five millimeters too long. So let me show you what it should be like. First thing you want to do is you want to take this wire and you want to come down to about right... Oh, I don't know. I'll sit here. Boom. There. Now, let's get an idea. And then twist it. Okay? Twist it up. But now let's get an idea of how long that is. Okay? It's very simple. From the... From the... Uh, where is the damn thing? It needs to be under here. 
Okay, so we're getting close. There it is. It's just, I got a lot. There we go. Okay, so from the silicone, this wire now is about a little over, all right, around two millimeters. We'll give or take a little bit, but a little over. But we're not done yet. Now we're going to dip it in some flux paste, right? Look at that nasty crap right there. And we're going to twist it with our hands, okay? And then we're going to tin it, okay? And you guys know what tinning is. And if you don't know what tinning is, then you need to really, really, really get with the program here. Tinning, and we're going to, let me focus on that wire just a little bit. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. No strands flying off, no nothing, right? Here we go. Tinning is when you go ahead and apply solder to the uh, to the item, whatever it may be. So this is now called a tinned wire. It is pre-tinned actually. And if you look at the if you look at the pad where this is going, you could consider this pre-tinned. It is. It's just overly pre-tinned. This is way too much solder on here to begin with. Okay. So I'm going to try to reduce it, but because there's a cod podge of solder, if the the best thing I may be able to do is just clean it up. So when I bring the two together. If I've done it properly, like this, and I put one on top of the other, like that, right? And I just rest my soldering iron on there. I don't want to press, I don't necessarily have to press down. I just need to rest it, right? And it's just gonna melt through. And when it does, oops, hold on, sorry. I gotta get used to how much solder is on this pad to begin with. And when it does, I'm gonna get a clean looking, now that's not exactly clean. I'm gonna actually correct some of this here but I need, to, I need to correct this pad first. So let me just, there you go. All right, so when I'm done, uh, I should get a pretty clean, and that is, for the most part, um, considering where it came, where, where it was at at the beginning, look, all right, that's on there. The wire is over the pad. It's not sitting there off the pad, and it's good. And that's how old of these should look. So this is a problem, and you see why? Look at this. Look at this wire right here. Okay, see how this, this strand is off? Well, all that strand has to do is touch that right there, and you're gonna have some weird flying. Uh, uh, you're gonna have some weird stuff happening. Now, this one I don't quite understand because we went above the pad, then below the pad, and then above the pad. This is all wrong, again, and these are too long. Look at how much is exposed. So just give you an idea of what happens, right? So you've got this exposed, and all I have to do is eventually, by going back and forth with these, as long as they are, they're gonna snap. I mean, this one looks like it's about to give anyway. So my guess is on the first rack or second rack, if I take this cable and I yank it really hard like that, right? And I'm just gonna go back and forth a couple times. I mean, and I'm not even going hard, but look, you see, there's nothing holding it there. That's not acceptable. Flipping the other side, same problem, okay? Look, look, look at this one, not acceptable, okay? This has to be correct. This is this is not, this job doesn't tell me, this isn't good, okay? It's just simply not good. And and I know you'll fix it, trust me. I'm not criticizing you. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I know you'll fix it. But I would be wrong to tell you, oh, it's good, you'll be okay, just work on No, it's not good. Because you're gonna risk dropping this quad out of the sky. Not only that, you're gonna ruin your components and you're gonna be out quite a bit of money. So save yourself while you can and let's correct it. So, as far as the ESC though, um, now I'm going to get out of the microscope here, okay, guys? Because I think we can go back to the bench now, so let's do that. So let's go and let me shrink it down real quick. And let's do this, and there we go. Okay, so we're back now, okay? So we know this has to come out, right? We know this for a fact. Um, what we don't know is if the ESC is damaged for anything that's been done. So we're going to try to find out. And how we're going to find out is going to be kind of interesting because... I, it means I have to plug this in as it stands. We also know that there's a cable issue with HGLRC right now and that they have sent out some new cables to replace some of their bad ones. This is probably one of the bad ones. Um, so I'll grab a flight controller. Oh, as a matter of fact, I may have one right here. Uh, no, that's going to be a 20 by 20 and it won't fit too much. Okay, so let me see if I've got one that's just in my open bin. No, I guess not. I've got a million of these things open, but I can never find one when I need it. Um, so I'll come up with another solution here in just a little bit. But as far as not hearing the tones, I'm gonna guess that because this flight controller is so screwed up, 
That's probably what led to it. I really wish I had a flight controller here that was in front of me that was open because I did promise my wife I was not gonna open another one because that's all I keep doing, it screws up our inventory. So I'm, I'm digging right now to see if I've got something in reach. Uh, what does this one say? This is an F4 Airbus, it's an RMA, so which means it doesn't work, but let's just see what happens. I don't know why it's an RMA, let me see what happened. It looks brand new, but it's damaged. Yeah, it's got no, it's got no power, that's awesome. Okay, so that one's toast. This one's his, that's bad. So that's gonna go over here. Ah. I'll find one here eventually. Uh, one second guys, let me see, where is it? Seriously, where is my stuff? Hmm. Nope, nope, nope. I'm still looking. Well, I'm gonna go grab one then, so hang tight. Okay, so this is, actually this is a good one, it just has a bad USB. And so I'm going to end up repairing the USB and I'm gonna do that on a video here for you guys. Okay, but this is a good F7 board, it's just got a bad USB. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove this as best we can, right? So let me clean this up here. And if I can, I'll just cut it out, but I was hoping to gently remove it from the stuff and now that I see how much trouble this the, the temperature of the solder is there we go I'll just take that off there and this is not good okay so I think before we do anything we're going to make sure that we have our smoke stopper on which we do okay and I think the next thing is going to be to see what we can do here so, we have nothing. This thing is toast too. So let's see if that, oh wait, 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 wait. My apologies, that's his board. Let's see what happens. Now I need to make sure that these cables are gonna be the same. So give me one second. <coughs> Yeah. Okay. So while we don't have a tone, uh, we did get voltage, and we know that there's a loose cable here. It did bother me because it missed it. The whole thing is is dead at this point. Um, but I think the cable is also a piece of crap. I can see in it, and I'll show you guys. Check this out. Let me show you what I see in the cable. Ready? Whoops. Check this out. I'm going to show you this real quick. So here's the cable, right? Looks like a normal cable. Well, except that it's blurry. Hold on. But look. This is what I noticed when I was plugging it in. Now let me find it again. See that right there? Okay, so it means to me that right here, if you can see that, okay, that is exposed wiring here because if I bend it open this way, uh, that's gonna be blurry, isn't it? Yeah, you can see right there, okay? You can see the strand in there, right? Right there, all right? I would not wanna use a cable like this on my drone. That's not HGLRC's fault, that's the customer. That's the HGLRC's cables do not have that problem. The problem they had um, uh, is a loose wire or basically a bad connection, but not a, a severed, or a cut wire, that's that's on the customer side only. All right, so now I'm gonna to try to find HCRC's wire. Uh, they sent us some to make sure that we replaced the damaged ones, and I'm going to pull those real quickly. Let's see if I can pull them. I've gotta find them first. Okay. 
All right, give me a second. I wasn't prepared to do that, but now I've got to find those, and that's not easy either. I think both of these, these are definitely not them. And I'm pretty sure this is the bad wire also. And I'm sure that this is as well, but let me just check something here. Okay, so I believe this is gonna be the bad wire as well. Uh, but I just don't have the other ones sitting around right now and I just, I'm curious to see what happens here. So, All right, so what I'm checking for right here is going to be heat in this area. Usually, that's, yep, and that's where I would see it. So we have it here. Looks like, and I'll check, I'll verify, but it looks like the ESC uh, maybe, let me see, it's 27 amps, it's fried. So the ESC is toast, and you can tell because the ESC is pulling 27, or sorry, 0.27 amps, and to be honest with you, the ESC, this ESC is going to point, pull about 0.7 um, without anything happening. And so what we know is, and this is just from testing this, I did a video about two weeks ago and it's 14 of these to figure out what was the problem and it is fried and what will happen is the regulator underneath is now out. So uh, for all purposes, this is a, this is messed up across the board and the setup is not going to function anymore. So, um, all right, so, all right, let's get down to it. So uh, what's going to end up happening now is uh, the recommendation obviously is going to be still to keep it at 50%, uh, but there's no way that this can be covered under warranty. Uh, it's not possible because of the soldering job that was done on it, okay? And guys, and this gentleman, he's going to he's gonna be good about it, um, and I'm going to try to help him as best I can. But at the same time, guys, I get more people, uh, you know, that they do say, they do write, not this guy, but I, I mean, I have one now. Hey, I just got my stuff and uh, the S bus pad lifted off. Well, let me tell you. Um, it, while that can happen under normal circumstances, it only it, it doesn't happen very often under normal. Uh, but it does happen. Uh, it can happen under super hot, like you're just cooking that thing, and this stuff can't take that kind of heat, right? Which means that you're using the wrong solder, or you don't know how to solder, or something like that. <coughs> so we're gonna go ahead and reach out to the customer now about this one. Let him, well, not right now, it's late, but I'm going to let him know in the morning that this thing is messed up. Okay, and then from there, uh, we'll see what happens. But most of the customers, when you tell them this, have been pretty understanding about it. Uh, it's the ones that lead off with, hey, look, I've done a million drones. I know what I'm doing. I know it wasn't me. And I'm like, no, it probably was you. I mean, let's be honest. It, it might have been. This guy was not like that. So much respect to him. Um, yeah, this board is cooking right now, and it shouldn't be. So these are both going to be, these two are going to be toast. Uh, and to be honest with you, uh, we may try to do the chips to repair them, but it won't be for this gentleman. It'll just be for testing. Okay, so um, we'll be on to our next RMA here in just a little bit, guys. If you have any questions, please go to our website, cyclonefb.com forward slash pages forward slash contact. And let me know if you need anything. And then as always, follow us on Facebook and uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. Um, and uh, I am refraining from saying anything negative today um, because I'm turning over a new leaf. I have uh, decided that the, well, anyways, I will talk to you guys soon. Anyways, God bless guys. Spend time with your family. Enjoy your time with them. You never know how much time you have left, so make the most of it, please. Other than that, peace.